What's up guys, my name is Jacob and also known as Casillo Gameplay and we are right now in a Norwegian Air Shuttle Boeing 737-800 flight 8743 to Cork in Ireland and what the fuck was that? Jesus Christ um, well, and I would like to see Whoa! Gate 34 in Oslo Gardermoen, and uh, like I said, we're going to Cork. So let's do it. But first, we will get battery to the plane, then our external power, and our logo lights and position lights are on. And I'm sorry for not uh, recording last week because I was sick. But anyways, let's now get catering service. And handling by Norwegian Air Shuttle. This is actually flight one out of four in this... Uh, the first one being from Oslo, Gardermoen in Norway to Cork in Ireland. And then from Cork in Ireland down to New York JFK in... In, no, not New York JFK, Boston in in the United States. And then from Boston to London Heathrow, and then from London Heathrow back up to... Yes, to... Yeah, I don't... Yes. And then we'll load our fuel in. Our total fuel, to, to fuel today are 20.3 tons of fuel. Boom. That is set. And that is 9,200 9, kilos if, you're in, if you don't, didn't know. Good. Let's get ground power on this plane. Good. Ground power. Uh, Seatbelts and more smoke lights. And left pack on isolation auto. And we will align the IRSs. Boom. And your damper on. Yes. Good. And we will now say menu. FMC. No, it does have a new position in it. We are at EMGM. At gate 34. And copy that into this section. And it should align over here in a bit. In a bit. We will set it to HBA and not in HG. Then it's on, yes. That's good to see. In gym we will go to Cork, which is Echo India Charlie which is Echo India Charlie Kilo. Let's open the door so the catering can come inside the plane. Open, 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 open and open. Goody. Back to the menu, FMC, goody. Uh, our company route is in a GM to E Y I C K. Yes, activate, execute. I will just have a look at my charge here really quick. And we will take one nano left for takeoff. That's it. And we are a Norwegian Air Shuttle Flight 8743. And our alternate today is Dublin, which is Echo India Delta Whiskey. And departure is 19 left. And there will be no star. Yo, yes, the Tor 1 Charlie departure to Tor, I believe. So, next to Tor. Yes. 
and our arrival will be Alice, runway 35 with the Alice 35 with the Erger 1 Golf arrival. Yeah, one Golf is executed. In it, Wolf, our zero fuel rate today is 106.0. And the reserves are 25.5. Cost index, oh shit, I didn't. Let's just say 30. Boom. And we will fly at level 380. And the transition altitude is 7,000 feet. Using the surf fuel. What? I'll just say zero then. Zero. I'll just say one. One. That's our zero fuel rate. Uh, not zero fuel rate, but reserves. I'll just say one because doors close these. Oh shit! I forgot to call the jetway over. Ah, fuck it, it isn't working anyway, so... We will request boarding? Boom. Um... Transition. Uh, take off flaps 5. And CG inside here. And... That's fine. And one forty is we two. Boom. And fly number three and two. Boom. And we'll set that in the oxygen as well. Our landing altitude today is five hundred and one feet, so we'll just say five hundred. And our, uh, our barrel will be 1,501 feet. That's our minimums. I always set my minimums as a thousand feet over the ground. That's where I'll decide usually when if I want to land or I want to divert to my alternate 501. Thank you. Then Tigas will see. Mm. And it's working 200. And a Tigas test. Tigas test. Pass. That's what I like to hear. And. The ILS frequency is 109.9. 109.9. Nine. Nine. And we'll turn this on. Tw two seconds. I'll be back in two seconds. I'm back. Sorry. And I'll just uh, check really quick what occurs for the runway. I have charts with me, so... 345... 345 set, and 345 set. Good. Good. And zoom in. I'll just check our legs. And go to play mode. And see how it works. Step, 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 step. That's fine. Good. Then back to map. Our pins will 
I'll just do this opens, flight director is on. I'll be the one flying, so my flight director is turned on first. So then traffic terrain and zoom in traffic terrain. Good. Yes. And we will with the make the cabin announcement. And yes, let's just wait for the package to be loaded. It's almost finished, as you can see. <coughs> Sorry. Please hurry up! I have a schedule to make. It should be about a two hour two hour flight. And I will go if, if someone wants to know is the Torp uh, VOR then Lango 39 airway to Gollum, then November 866 to Upgas, then upper November 866 to Taipan, upper Mike 185 to Dixu, and again one upper November 866 to Sam, then upper Lena 620 to Dolly, and then upper Papa to 72 to let go, then November 162 to Urcher. Oops. And like that, boarding completed. Let's close the doors. And we will turn on the fuel pump and start the APU. Doors, doors close. And close, close. Some of my Danish fans wonder why I don't talk Danish. They have to look at the video I, I made some time ago. Okay. FMC, Lex, yes. And you announce it in it and our takeoffs page. Good. And I can just program the transition level. Which will be, uh, just check, 6,000 feet. Flight level 3060. 060? Six, zero. Zero, six, zero. Thank you. Okay. We will just wait. In the APU generators online. Nice. Good. And we can ditch ground power and turn on parking brakes. And ditch the whole shit right there. And we can hit push, push and start. And the nose will be left. No, I do not. And anti-collision lights. Lift pack off. And we will take that to the Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Yes. And if some of you that uh, saw, have seen some of my previous uh, flight sim videos have known when I fly the PMDG, the engines are slow at starting up. And then when I take off, um, it says. Du, du, du. I fixed that actually. That was just me being a noob. When I the engines was caused because the packs were on, and you don't have you cannot arm the spoilers during takeoff. That was why the takeoff what configuration warning was going off. And we will start the clock. Two seconds. Release parking brakes. Release parking brakes. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start that wheel. Right. Uh, left engine on. And fuel pumps. I do not need these yet. So why are they on? I don't know. Uh, 
21, 22, 22 and a half. Good. Mission. And God in Danish means, God is Danish and means good. So if you only say God, that means good. Because I'm used to, sp to speak Danish, but I don't know. Rep. I know it fucking lags really much, it's fucking annoying. Good, it pop back. Continuous, then round again. You can see there it rises much faster than before. Before I had to speed it up by times four to get it started. Started. And that was pretty annoying. Well, 20, 21, 22 and a half ignition. That's, I really like the sound of the PMTG engine starting. It's really fucking great. It's one of the greatest sounds you'll ever hear. If you really like flying, that is. Fuck it, I'll just do it. Continuous. And go into engine generators. And APU off. Packs on. And that on. Lights on. Trim will be 4.5. Boom. Boom. Flaps, one, two, five. Let's look. Checking. Unlocking gear. It looks fine. Then back to the engine cage. No truck disconnected. Bypass main remote. We will just wait until he says we can go. Seemed up with the runaway. I have more charts, more charts at my disposal, so I know what to do. That's just fine and dandy, right? Yes, it is, Jacob. And have a good trip. So let's fucking go to Cork in Ireland. And engines 30%. And we're rolling. Nice.
still kind of sick if you can hear that on my, on my voice. <coughs> Sorry. Um, then to left. Left on to Taxiway Golf. Taxiway Golf. And we will take away all the down way down. No, it's not fucking golf, it's fucking tango. Takes away tango, and then all the way down to tango, and then to a holding point. Bravo, super fifth. Bravo, eight. Jesus Christ, I can't taxi today. What the fuck is going on? Jesus Christ. And. I got 30%. If you want to look, this over here is the rate the, the engines are running at. So when we take off, I'll throttle it up, up to 50%, then all the throttle on, and then tow it. Right? That sounds good. And at this point, we would get cleared for takeoff. So flatten the seat for takeoff. Lights on. And take the lights off. And we will take a rolling take off today, so start the clock. And everything is set, so let's go. And tickets looks clear. Noise. Bravo 8 right now. Maybe it doesn't say that in the signs, but it is Bravo 8 because... And the, yes, you can see Bravo holding point Bravo 8. That is nice. We'll just line up on the runway and then we will roll and get to Cork in Ireland. I'm so excited because I'm gonna fly the 737 over the Atlantic Ocean to Boston. Alright, 50%. About there. Throttles up fine and tow. V1, V1 rotate. V2. Pause to break. Gear up. Aircraft up, we can. I will put some music on and I'll see you when we go into the sand. This time, I will actually do something new. I'll take some fun, film something on in the cruise. Isn't that just fine and dandy, everybody? It is, actually, if you ask me. Alright, then, laps one. And just to get all the things off. Flaps is now on on and flaps up. So I'll see you guys again when we are going to descend. What was that saying? It's fine, it's fine. I don't give a fuck. Well, I'll see you guys when we I'm going to descend.
as you can see here, our top of the descent point is coming forth, and we will now plan our, plan our landing. Okay, we will land with flaps 40 at Cork. And, oh, and we will turn the seatbelt signs and descend down to 3000 feet. thousand feet now and you can see that at Gosta we will have to be at 3,000 feet and that is correct for when following the charts. charts so yeah as you can see here I'm flying with times 4 speed that's because I this normally this would take look we have flown for 2 hours and 15 minutes I just want to get it done it's quite boring when you just sit and do nothing. Even though I can watch YouTube by doing it, but still, it's fucking boring. And I'll take the speed brakes out to get some more drag and catch up to the glass. So we to the thing here. At let go, we will have to be a Flight level 150, and we can take the speed brakes out again. Landing with auto brake 3 today, and reverse thrust, of course. And we have only have 7.8 tons of fuel left, and we departed with more than enough. We departed with about 20.7 tons. 20.3 tons of fuel the Buddha part with Oh that's what I already thought that And our minimum take off fuel was 20.1 tons of fuel See these aircraft really burn much fuel. And our heading. I will set that to... 165. That is the opposite direction for a run. For the run. I'm doing this so I can self vector myself around. So it will come in at a perfect time with flaps. <coughs> so we are coming down and I'll just be in for an hour and get down to 250 knots so we're ready when we get on and so the speed breaks out. And in the back. This is our diesel point. I'll just zoom in a bit. This is where we have to decelerate and stuff. Look at this weather. It's really it's quite bad actually. It's quite bad weather right now in no, not all talk for fuck's sake. Jacob, you stupid horse, you can't pronounce it right. You fucking prick. Jesus. No, 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 no. Goody. And see, this is what I talk about, so I can do it so um, Good. What I'll do now is turn the heading this way and lights on. By the way, and then I'll select vertical speed 2400, um, vertical speed 1800, and select heading mode. And I'll just do some. Moving around, I, do, I guess. Just making 
the 360 with the down at the right altitude now. So what I will do now is right here I will say times normal and the overhead bar menu bar right here times normal put it over there line and select LNAV again and VNAV off I'll put speed down so we can begin setting flaps. And engines to a continuous. This diesel point I will select flaps 1. And remember we'll end with flaps 40 because I don't think the runway is quite long. I think the runway is quite short. Yeah see it's only two oh, actually it's sixteen hundred it's two kilometers long. So uh, speed won't be. Uh, we have selected the uh, flap 40. So that's how it will go. So flaps one. Shut off. What I do mostly is. I, I get to config 5 when I am about to line up. When uh, the localizer is alive, I set flaps 15, then gear down. And when the glide slope is alive, I set select uh, flaps 30. And when I have to line with flaps 40, I select flaps 40 shortly after flaps 30. That's how I usually config my plane for lining. Flaps 5, and we will see the flaps go down. And flap 5 speed. Right now the engine runs at 60, 35, like 36 percent. So that is quite good, if you ask me. Remember, our alternate is, as you can see, Dublin, Dublin. is one zero one six. And we took fifty five passengers from Oslo down here to to Cork. And the next flight will be from Cork to Boston. That will be an E top flight. So I am excited to show you that. But that will be next week. I will f film that in the next week. So, bidding. 
so we can judge how close we are to align with the runway. Spoilers, so we don't need to, so I don't forget later. Spoilers out. And let's look alive. I am flaps 15. You're down. There it is. Nice. There, right there. We're gonna land and then go into our gates. And glide slow but live, so flaps 30. And flaps 40. It shouldn't change. Let's have a look outside and see how it looks. We're can from flying down with the glide slope. Roger. make a tutorial about how I plan my flights, then please write that in the comments and I'll take it into consideration. And I'll most likely do it. It's really fucking windy. So it's really hard to get into the localizer. Minimums. 
continue. This crosswind is really fucking annoying. I have a crosswind. It's only nine knots, but right. Go into the apron and flaps up. And chase. Off and off. And we chase it to the gate. Just to the left and then uh, then to the right. And we should be there. It took, this flight took two hours and forty-seven minutes, as you can see right there, at the bottom uh, time on the clock. That's how long this flight took. Down before we go too fast. And the numbers you can see uh, over here, the Marshall uh, is uh, how much to the left or right I am to the center line and how long uh, away I am from the threshold. fun and 6.2 tons of fuel we have left and we have cut our engines and we will turn off all our lights and fuel pumps except this one you have to have one fuel pump running to run the APU 
And the APU is the thing providing power when the engine stalled. So we will request deboarding, ground connections, and For set, that was not fun. Open, it's connected. Doors open, 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 and ramp power on and APU off. And packs off and electricity, electricity off. Propeats off and window heats. Your damper. IRS is and ground power off, external light, emergency lights off, and battery off. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We are now in Cork, in Ireland. And I would like to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, please click that like button and subscribe if you think I'm doing a good job of with my videos and I would say thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see all you guys in another video next time on Flight Sim. So bye bye!